So Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 only came out a few weeks ago, and now we started getting our first official leaks and hints at the first trailer of Chapter 4. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing off these photos, leaks, teasers, and I'm going to be giving my thoughts and theories for when the first Chapter 4 trailer could potentially release. So today, I'm going to start off with this supposedly leaked audio from the first Chapter 4 teaser. I'm going to play it for you guys to hear, and then I'll give my thoughts on it after. So me personally, I don't think that this sounds real at all. It just sounds like someone talking into a microphone with a robotic voice effect on. And if it is real, it could be some kind of robot character for Chapter 4. But I think the audio for the official teaser will be better than that. And if you actually go into Mob Games Discord server, it seems a lot of people also want to know when the trailer's coming out. So that's what I'm going to try to solve today. So Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 first released in May 2022. And the first teaser trailer came out in August of that year. Meaning we had to wait three months for the first teaser trailer. And if things are the same this time, maybe a little bit longer, it could take four to five months hopefully four months so that would mean around may of this year and i think it'd be pretty cool for them to do it on the two-year anniversary of chapter two so may 5th 2024 that would be a good day for the first teaser but how about the official full trailer well, we didn't get our first full trailer of chapter three until a year and four months later in december of 2023 16 months but we also got a second teaser trailer in summer of 2023 and it was over a minute and a half long so it was pretty much a full trailer so i think we could be getting our first teaser in may of 2024 and i think we could get the second teaser a trailer around October it will be a good Halloween theme and then the first full trailer maybe early 2025 with the game then to drop in around summer of 2025 and I feel like chapter 4 is not gonna take as long as chapter 3 did it looks like they're starting work on it now and it might take eight to nine months and they already have a lot of it planned out like the location most likely the monster they already have one of the villains planned but what's your guys's guess on when the teasers or trailers for chapter 4 could come out let me know in the comments but now since we're done talking about the trailers and teasers let's move on to some other chapter 4 news and just poppy playtime in general but first in the last video i said if it gets over 6,000 likes then i'll buy this poppy playtime player toy and it got over 6,000, so i bought it and in the past couple videos i do a tradition where if i get a certain amount of likes i buy a toy and then destroy it so yes i did destroy this one but if this video can get 5,000 likes then i'll buy this poppy doll next and then run it over with the car but now moving on to some poppy playtime news we recently got some behind the scenes for poppy playtime chapter 3 it's from someone that worked on chapter 3's youtube channel his name is zoriax and he showed off some animations from chapter 3 and he also showed some locations from the hour of joy vhs tape we don't see any of the monsters or any of the employees getting killed in them but we can still see the backgrounds which is pretty cool so hopefully in the near future we can get more chapter 3 behind the scenes because we have been getting a lot recently but anyways poppy playtime chapter 3 recently got a new update just fixing some bugs and glitches that were in the game which is always pretty cool and one of the last big things i'm going to talk about for this video is that there's a new plushie revealed in their discord server if any of you are huge merch collectors then this is for you from the first photo we could already tell that this was pj pugapeller from chapter 2 and then they ended up fully revealing what the face looked like it looks all right i probably won't be buying it though but yeah to end off this video i'm gonna be going over a theory that's been going around recently and it might solve what we saw in chapter 3 and what we're going to see in chapter 4. so in chapter 3 we're told by poppy and a bunch of other characters that the prototype is catnap's god catnap even sacrificed himself to the prototype at the end of chapter 3 so that shows that catnap thinks that the prototype is some sort of higher power but the theory is that catnap was brainwashed in chapter 3 and the reason why this makes sense is because he's actually the only character in poppy playtime that looks up to the prototype like this although all of the other monsters followed him in his plan to create the hour of joy but catnap made a shrine for the prototype and he even died for him. and this could make sense that he was brainwashed by maybe the prototype because before chapter 3 came out for the arg we got this whole backstory of catnap before he was a monster when he was human and that didn't really play a role in the game so maybe the prototype brainwashed him after he got turned into catnap or maybe when he was still human but yeah that's pretty much all i had to talk about in this video i know it was really short and i'll definitely be making longer videos when we get more news and i recently hit 17,000 subscribers which is crazy and my videos have been doing really good recently but yeah if you guys did enjoy leave a like it would really help support the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one